Imagine you're sipping your morning coffee, scrolling through your phone, and bam, the sun, usually the reliable star next door, decides to throw a cosmic tantrum. Welcome to 2024, where solar storms are not just a sci-fi plot, but a reality show featuring our sun as the unpredictable lead character. We're talking giant bubbles of energy, GPS systems throwing a fit, and a world where your smartphone might just take an unexpected vacation. So buckle up, grab your sunglasses, and let's explore what happens when the sun decides to send us a surprise party invite. Spoiler alert, it's electrifying. While the sun often looks like a peaceful, glowing ball in the sky, it's actually much more active than it appears. From time to time, it likes to remind us of its fiery personality by sending out solar storms, which are essentially enormous bursts of energy. Imagine the sun sending out a wave of energy and charged particles. This isn't your usual weather forecast. We're talking about solar flares and mass ejections, which are like giant, energetic bubbles. They travel through space and can hit planets, including our own. When these solar particles collide with Earth's magnetic field, they're not just a potential tech headache. They also create those stunning auroras, the northern and southern lights. But it's not all about pretty lights. A strong solar storm could mean trouble for satellites, power grids, and communication networks. Think of it as the sun accidentally sending a shockwave that scrambles our tech. And hey, if you're enjoying this cosmic journey, don't forget to like and subscribe for more stellar content. If a really big solar storm hits us in 2024, we could see some disruptions. Maybe your GPS goes haywire or there's a temporary blackout. But don't worry, scientists are on it, keeping an eye out and planning ways to keep our tech safe. Imagine having a measuring tape for solar storms. That's essentially what the NOAA space weather scales are, and they were developed by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. This scale ranks solar storms from 1 to 5, with 1 being a minor event and 5 being extreme. It's a bit like categorizing tornadoes or hurricanes. The criteria? They look at how these storms could affect our power systems, satellites, and other tech stuff. Using this scale, NOAA plays a crucial role. They're the weather forecasters for space, giving us a heads up on solar storms. This is super important for people who manage power grids, satellites, and even airlines. Timely information means we can brace ourselves and protect our tech from these cosmic curveballs. Now, let's hop into our time machine and head back to the 19th century. We're visiting the largest solar storm ever recorded, known as the Carrington Event which happened in 1859. Telegraph systems went haywire, and auroras were seen as far south as the Caribbean. On a seemingly typical morning in 1859, Richard Carrington, an amateur astronomer, climbed up to his observatory in rural London. He adjusted his large brass telescope and looked at the clear blue sky. It was 1118 AM, September 1st. Carrington was observing and sketching a group of large sunspots, a routine task for him. But then, something extraordinary happened. Two brilliant points of light appeared on the sun's surface, grew intensely bright, and then vanished just as quickly as they had erupted. This lasted merely five minutes, but it was the first observation of what we now call the largest solar flare in modern history. This white light solar flare, later named after Carrington, was a massive magnetic explosion on the sun's surface. Its power was so immense that it outshone the sun for a brief moment. Within hours, this solar event painted the Earth's skies in vivid reds, greens, and purples. These auroras, while mesmerizing, were just the tip of the iceberg. The solar storm supercharged telegraph cables worldwide, leading to electric shocks for operators. This technological chaos was an unprecedented display of solar power's influence on Earth. Imagine the sun, our usually friendly neighborhood star, decides to send a massive solar flare our way, similar to or even bigger than the Carrington event of 1859. What would happen then? Solar flares, those dramatic bursts of energy and light from the sun, are visually stunning. But their beauty comes with a hidden danger. 
if one of these flares, accompanied by a coronal mass ejection or CME, directly hits Earth, it sets off a series of potentially catastrophic events. First, there's an electromagnetic pulse, or EMP, caused by the solar flare. This pulse can disrupt radio signals and temporarily mess with satellite communications but doesn't immediately damage the satellites. Next, charged particles from the sun bombard Earth's magnetosphere. This is where things get dangerous for our satellites. These particles can damage the electronics in satellites, leading to failures in communication systems. The most significant impact comes when the plasma cloud from the CME finally reaches Earth, which could take from 12 hours to several days. This plasma cloud interacts with our magnetosphere, causing a geomagnetic storm. This storm can wreak havoc on our power grid, potentially melting transformers and leading to widespread power outages. Imagine a world where GPS systems fail, disrupting navigation for planes and ships. Power grids go down, leaving us without electricity. No more charging phones, no refrigeration, and even water supply systems could be affected. Banking, the internet, and social media are all gone temporarily. In short, a massive solar storm could push us into a temporary state of technological blackout. We've seen smaller scale examples of this before. In 2011, a solar storm disrupted GPS signals, posing risks to aeroplanes and ships reliant on GPS. More recently, in 2023, a severe geomagnetic storm caused by a solar event disrupted power and communications. While we can't control space weather, agencies like NASA and NOAA continuously monitor the sun's activity, providing forecasts that can help us prepare for an impending solar storm. The first thing to hit us wouldn't be the charged particles, but the X-rays and ultraviolet light from the flare. These would arrive at Earth at the speed of light, affecting the upper atmosphere. This bombardment would disrupt the ionosphere, leading to interference with radio communications and satellite signals. Essentially, our global communication network would get a jolt, affecting everything from GPS to mobile phone signals. One of the most immediate and direct risks would be to astronauts in space. Outside the protective blanket of Earth's atmosphere, they'd be exposed to intense solar radiation. Without enough shielding, this radiation could be deadly, holding a significant challenge for space agencies. Following these initial impacts would be the arrival of the coronal mass ejection. This massive cloud of charged particles would slam into Earth's magnetic field, potentially causing severe geomagnetic storms. The interaction would induce electric currents in the Earth's surface, affecting power grids and electronic infrastructure. The potential for widespread technological disruption is immense. We're talking about everything from cell phones and computers to cars and aeroplanes experiencing malfunctions. Power outages could last for weeks or even months, fundamentally changing daily life. Basic activities, like refueling your car, would become complex tasks. Since most transactions rely on satellite communications, paying for gas with a credit or debit card might become impossible. Recognizing the immense threat posed by such an event, scientists are working tirelessly to develop early warning systems and new detection methods for solar flares. The goal is to predict solar flares with enough accuracy and lead time similar to how we forecast severe weather events like tornadoes and hurricanes. With effective forecasting, we could take precautionary measures to protect critical infrastructure and minimize the impact of these solar events. What if we're suddenly hit by a solar storm as powerful as the Carrington event? How do we prepare for that? Well, that's exactly what we're about to explore next. Getting ready for an extreme solar storm doesn't have to be all doom and gloom. Imagine it's like prepping for a camping trip but instead of bears, you're up against the sun's mood swings. Stay updated with space weather forecasts from sources like NOAA. Think of them as your cosmic weather channel. Keep an emergency kit handy, packed with essentials like water, non-perishable snacks, don't forget the marshmallows, a trusty flashlight, batteries, and a first aid kit. Cash is king when power grids blow out, so stash some for those just-in-case moments. Your electronics are precious. Show them some love with surge protectors and consider unplugging them when the sun gets feisty. Regularly backing up data is also important. 
If the usual chat and text goes silent, have a plan B for communication, like a satellite phone, like sending smoke signals, but high tech. If you're thinking about power, solar power charges or generators can be your silent heroes. For those who have trouble with the directions, keep a paper map in your car. And for the eco-friendly solar panels at home, a quick chat with your installer can ensure your green energy stays green. As we wrap up this solar saga, remember to keep your emergency kit close and your sense of humor closer. And maybe think about this. What if the next solar storm is just the universe's way of telling us to unplug and look up at the stars for a change?